In the past, as I matured throughout my life, I was constantly working for praise, acknowledgement, to be heard, to be seen. And all of this was coming from that wounded inner self that always felt invisible. All my actions, everything that I did was always solely focused on how are other people going to think? How are other people going to feel? How are other people going to respond to me? Am I going to get the admiration or the acceptance or the acknowledgement that I want or need? It was never really about the success. It was about how it was going to make me feel. And if success for you is connected to how it's going to make you feel, that's a good thing. But if the emotional reward that you're chasing after is based on meeting old wounds, unfulfilled needs, now we're going to have a problem. Why? Because we start to lose focus and we start to lose connection to our reality. Because if you try to create something that you want, and especially success, and it's connected to old wounds that you're trying to fulfill, your limitations and thresholds is going to be non-existent because most people will go to the absolute extreme to get what they want and need and to have that sense of fulfillment, that sense of purpose, that sense of belonging fulfilled. Now, this is where a lot of people can go wrong and where a lot of things can take place. I mean, you could work yourself in oblivion, you can start to have anxiety, insomnia, I mean, whatever the case might be. If you're finding yourself in a very painful place right now because maybe you, you were chasing after the emotional factor rather than chasing a success that is first of all sustainable and success that can make you feel happy can make you feel stable long term because the success in itself is there because you felt worthy of creating it because it was not connected to other people outside of you or outside of the success that is why success is a very personal experience. It's a very intimate and personal experience rather than making it about other people because the moment when you do that, your success outcome is not in your hands anymore. Why? Because if these people around you reject what you do, you lose focus on your end point, which was the success. Why? You lose it easily because it was never there. Your full focus basically was never there at the end in the first place. It was with other people. That is why we can lose our power like that. Guys, success is a very intimate relationship that you have with yourself and to where it is that you would like to go. It's important that you make the success about you because if you are successful, if you are doing well, everyone else around you is going to benefit anyway. Instead of them benefiting from you, behaving in ways that you think that they want you to behave because that is what you think that they want and need. Sometimes we create these realities in our mind based on our childhood dilemmas and unresolved crap that we project into our adult life and we live a reality that's in most cases not even real. But it's a pattern that we had that we never broke. So now maybe what I want to ask you here today is what pattern do you need to break in your life to start to call and bring your power back to you? Where is your energy too much invested in others around you and it's causing you tremendous unhappiness and challenges in your life? Something to think about. Guys, so thank you also for joining me here. Remember to join me at my Intuitive Body Workshop. You're going to learn how to read the body like a book. Join my Math Level 1 Healing Course, where I'm going to be teaching you how to shift trauma, stress, and anxiety in your life with ease and with grace. And also join me at eventvideos.com or at eventrose.com. I'm always up to something. And until next time, see you guys. So guys, there you have it. Also remember to subscribe to my channel, stay up to date. And also I have a free Mac membership website where we have so many courses up there. There's meditations, there's workshops, whatever you need, it's there. There's so many wonderful webinar replays as well that you can benefit from and also to observe and to learn from. Guys, also remember that I have written 18 books. 18, one, eight. And one of many among them are metaphysical anatomy and psychosomatics for children. So this one is a psychosomatics for adults. This one is a psychosomatics for kids. So these books are super popular. People love it. If you want to learn more about how your body works, understanding messages behind it, you know, maybe you have that gnawing pain or maybe an ailment that's surfacing and you want to understand what is it that your body is trying to tell you. Guys, these books are going to be absolutely invaluable to you. You can find it at eventbooks.com where you will also find 
all my other 18 books. And guys, also remember to keep asking all these great questions. I love to answer your questions at Ask Event, where we discuss, you know, life conundrums and, you know, life challenges and just answer questions perhaps where you feel, you know, quite stuck in your life. I would love to share my perspective with this and to help you to resolve perhaps certain pain points that you might be having in your life as well. So guys, remember to stay in touch. There's so many great things that's happening. And also something really awesome is that this book is already also in video format. So imagine 679 medical elements in video format and with also with meditations and healing courses, workshops, masterclasses, everything behind that in our platinum membership site. So guys, remember to check that out. There is so many great things happening there. So see you there.